Hey guys, welcome back to part 22 of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. In this episode, we are taking on the next two members of the Elite Four, which are number 3 and 4. In the last episode, go ahead and go check that out if you haven't already. We took on the first two members of the Elite Four, as, as that is in uh, Lorelei, the Ice-type Master, and then Bruno, the Rock and Fighting Type Master, or whatever. So in this episode, we are going to be taking on, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, we're going to be taking on, um, uh, Agatha of the Elite Four. And she's got a, she's got a pretty decent team. She's technically the ghost type, um, leader, or member. So let's just go ahead and get started. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Looks taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old dove was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. Uh -huh. He's wrong. Pokémon are for fighting. Chilled, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. So, so far, let's just knock on wood real quick. Uh, we have not had any trouble with the Elite Four yet. No Pokémon have died. And we've had only somebody get within the, like, 40 HP of dying. So I think we should... We should have a good run here if we can keep that up. Also, to start off with the first thing, is a ghost poison type of 56 with Confuse Ray, Lick, Substitute, and Mega Drain. Now, the only thing I'm worried about with this is the Confuse Ray and the Substitute. So, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can just outspeed it and put it to sleep immediately, which is this is fine. If we can put it to sleep. Come on, fall asleep. Alright, we got the sleep off, which is good. Now all we have to do is just see what a Razor Leaf does. Hopefully this will do some damage. It's part, well, it's part poison type, so it might not. Huh. I don't think it's going to do a lot. It didn't do a lot, and it was a critical hit. So let's see what we got here. They don't have abilities in this, in this, uh, um, this generation, do they? Let's see what Dig can do then. I don't think they have abilities. So they don't have abilities. So that'll hit hard because it is a poison type. So we got a good playoff there. As soon as he woke up, we were already underground. So that was a good play on my part. I guess if you want to say that. Or just a lucky play. Or anything like that. So we got the next one, which is a Golbat. And the Golbat is level 56 with Supersonic, Leech Life, Wing Attack, and Toxic. The only thing I'm worried about, really worried about there is the Supersonic and the Toxic. But I'm hoping that Pikachu can outspeed. And I don't know if I want to go for the Thunderbolt or I want to go for the Thunder. I think it's... Let's go for Thunderbolt and see how it does. So I want to keep the Thunders as much as possible. I don't want to run out with my luck. Gosh dang it. So would you go bad? Brought out Haunter. So we're going to switch out, and we're going to go back into Orphan, use Hypnosis, dang it, oh. alright, here's the good news, here's the good news, go. here's the good news though, and I didn't mean to do that, if you use your Poke Flute, it will wake up your, uh, Pokemon, now alright, here's Confuse Ray, if we can hit this right here, we should be able to knock this Gengar out, without, Oh, we hurt ourselves. Alright, so what we have to do here is it uses a Dream Eater. Oh, I forgot since he switched in. Haunter, level 55, Ghost Poison, Confuse Ray, Lick, Hypnosis, Dream Eater. So if he puts you to sleep, you better be able to heal yourself quick. Because if not, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. And he used Hypnosis, and it didn't affect me. And if he would just hit one time. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm just going to fast forward until I freaking hit him. Enough's enough. I wasn't waiting forever. So we knock out the Gengar. He's about to switch into Golbat. So I'm going to switch into Miko. And all I want to do is I want to get the Surefire one hit KO with a quick attack. Because I already know he's he's already weak in health and I know quick attack's priority so he's just going to be faster. So he's going to go out to Arbok. We're going to go back out to Orphan. 
Or we're gonna use dig. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just gonna fast forward through rap because it's just annoying. So we take out the Gengar, and while the Gengar is still up, I might as well tell you what it has. The Gengar's level 60, Ghost Poison, Confuse Ray, Psychic, Hypnosis, Stream Maven. And then the Arbok is about to come back, that's about to come back out. It's just a pure poison. It is a Rap Glare, Spree, Screech, and Acid. So really, that thing really can't do anything to you. So really, it's just kind of like a, just an annoying, like, thing. Annoying, whatever you want to call it. So all we're going to do is we're going to just dig again. I'm just going to fast forward through this. We're fully paralyzed. So I'm just going to fast forward through it because I wasn't just waiting for that. And we defeated Agatha. Woohoo! You're something special, child. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Alright, so we kind of had a little bit of trouble there, but not that bad. So all we have to do here is just heal, heal him up, and then we have to go... And then, um, all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take Pikachu, and I'm going to switch him out. I'm going to walk up here, and I'm just going to take this little long little route up and around and if I were you I would say right here because after a certain amount of steps it gets scripted and you can't save after that unless you just want to save like this so I'm going to start off with my Pikachu I'm going to mosey on up here ah I heard about you chilled I led the Elite Four you can call me Lance that dragon trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, chilled. So this is Lance of the Elite Four, the number one muchacho. The, I don't know, he's just the main guy. So, if, he leads off at a level 58 Gyarados. No, it Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Leer, and Hyper Beam. It is a water flying though. So, if you have any type of electric move, use it on him and he will go down easy peasy. Nine times out of ten, depending on your level. Like right here, equally level, Pike would have been two, three levels underneath it. Would have knocked it out clean. So we got some nice points there, got to level 59. Out next will be his Dragonair, and I will switch out. Now he, he does have two Dragonairs, so I don't know exactly which one is up, but um, one of them knows Thunder Beam, Thunder Beam, Thunderbolt Slam, Thunder Wave, a Hyper Beam, and the other one knows Wrap, Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, and Hyper Beam. So let's just see what. Hopefully, we don't. He can't get a move off to tell me which one it is. But if not, oh, we do take it out with a critical hit. Wow. Enemy Dragonair fainted. Franklin gained 7, 1,728 experience points. So we've got two down. About to send out the other Dragonair. And they're both level 56, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to use the same thing, I'm going to use Ice Beam, hopefully get the little nice little crit here, and get done with it. And I do not get done with it, so now we get to at least see what type it is, and actually we can't tell which one it is, because he uses Hyper Beam, and both of them have Hyper Beam. Uh-oh, let's see here. Alright, we're good. I say I thought my recording stopped, but I guess it didn't. So it has a... Let's go with a Bite. And just take it out. Hoping that that should actually be um, all my worries, but actually, on the contrary, on the contrary, it's not. Next up is Aerodactyl, and I'm actually going to switch out and bring in. Uh, hmm. I'll just bring in. Uh, Orphan. 
him. Let's see if I can take it out. I kind of didn't mean to hit the fast forward thing. He flew up high, so I'm thrashing about. Elephant's attack and miss. But I, I want to heal, um... I want to heal, uh, Franklin because if I do not take it out, I'm going to have Miko it, make it go up and see if I can take out this Aerodactyl. And the Aerodactyl will more than likely be faster than me, so I won't be able to take much of a hit. Let's go for a headbutt. Well, I should be able to live a wing attack. I do live a wing attack, but I am confused, which is bad. But I do connect with the headbutt. It doesn't do anything. The only thing I can be hopeful for is if he misses perfect because by the time I switch in, he cannot use a move next turn, so I get a free hit off with Pikachu. And I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt because I know the Thunderbolt. How can he? What? I thought I had to heat or I had to recover. This might be off of Pikachu. And it is off of Pikachu. Pikachu has fainted, so we've lost two already. I guess it's not already. And I didn't even tell you what moves Aerodactyl had. My bad, guys. I'm slacking. Aerodactyl's level 60 with a rock on flying, wing attack, fly, swift, and hyper beam. So since he's part rock, I'm just going to go with a um, surf and take it out because I don't want to use my ice beams up. Because you, if you've ever played this game through before, you know why you want to keep your ice beams. You want to keep them. If you have 10 of them, you want to keep 10. Well, actually, you want to keep about 7 because 7 or 8 because you have to use it on um, the other two. Because that's the only thing they're strong against, or weak to weak to. And here comes Dragonite, his ace Pokemon, the number one the f ass kicker 1000 nerve. He's level 62 Dragon Flying, Blizzard, Fire Blast, Thunder, and Hyper Beam. Now the only move that hits for 100% is Hyper Beam, but he all they all have moves that just if they hit they're gonna hurt. But we actually outspeed. And this is actually quad resistant, and we take it out with one hit. Wow, it wasn't even critical. Wasn't even a critical. So we take down land. Wow, that was really easy for the most part. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Well, I don't know why he sounds like Stephen Hawking. I still can't believe my dragons lost. To you chilled. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna heal real quick. Um I'm going to uh restore my Pokemon. I'm gonna go down here and revive these little sons of the guns. Uh, then fix this guy up. And I'm gonna save one more time. And guys, don't forget to uh, go back through if you haven't already and check out all of my Pokemon Yellow videos. There's not that many since this is number 22 and 23 will be the end of it. Because in the next episode, we will be taking on Gary to be to the, for the chance to be crowned the Pokemon, the champion. Also, follow me on Twitter, guys, at at ChilledFireLP. That is where I get all of my uh, updates on what's going on. If I'm recording a lot that day, if I can't record at all, if you get a hold of those, or you follow me on that, you can get a hold of me at any time to uh, give me an idea on what I should be doing, uh, what you would want me to be doing, and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys next time when we take on Gary. Bye.